this story legit has me freaked out. Uh, I was hearing some some rumors and some murmurs from TimCast.com. James O'Keefe accused of erratic behavior by 16 Project Veritas employees. James has become a power drunk tyrant, said one unnamed employee in a letter submitted to the organization's board. Nobody's buying it. Uh, I've got my sources and uh, I'm not buying it. This is the letter that uh, we were able to obtain through, uh, let let me just say, sources in New York media. Apparently, this had been circulating to a certain degree. And I want you to know uh, a few things. One, this letter is signed by, I believe, what is it, 16 employees accusing James O'Keefe of being a power drunk tyrant. And he is exactly who he pontificates on who we should be exposing. Now, this letter includes very important uh, bits of information and context, which leads me to believe I think there are people trying to oust James O'Keefe not because of any of these perceived grievances. I think they're trying to just remove him as an element of Project Veritas because, I mean, he's, he's the guy. He, he is Veritas. I would put it this way. If you're an organization with 65 employees and you generate millions plus in, in donor revenue, I imagine the board members are thinking like, hey, the one problem we have in terms of control of this money is James O'Keefe. He's an ideological figurehead who, who believes in a mission and founded this. This happens with, with big companies all the time. It's like in Spider-Man. Remember when Willem Dafoe is playing uh, Harry Osborn and he's like, oh, yeah. do you have any idea how much I've sacrificed? And they're, they're getting rid of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get rid of James O'Keefe from this, com- from this organization and you are free to use that money however you see fit. The problem is I don't think anyone's going to support him. Now, as we mentioned, they're saying that they were bullied, that he's a tyrant. Let me let me read for you the top note, because they certainly had to include this. It says the opinions, data shared and anecdotes were compiled by one third of the Project Veritas staff representing every department. Not all signed this letter, but all had compelling reason to contribute. Some signatories have not been the subject of abuse nor witnessed any abuse, but found the corroborated behavior troubling and were willing to sign. You, 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 that that means right there sounds like a load of garbage to me. Yeah, sound, what did they sign exactly? So imagine this: you work at Project Veritas. Someone walks up to you and says, "We think James O'Keefe is bad, and he's done these things. Will you sign a letter?" And they say, "Sure." Next thing you know, the board comes together. There's a viral Twitter thread where one guy is saying, uh, reporting according to his sources, one of the board members who orchestrated this had a whole thing scripted in ousting James O'Keefe. So I've reached out to James. I've not heard from him. But uh, admittedly, look, man, you know, when I saw this and a few other stories today, I was like, dude. this I got questions, it's, man. It's, it's, it's getting crazy right now. Okay, so if first of all, if you sign your name to a paper that's making a statement, that's an indication that you are making the statement. And if you didn't see the things that you're signing on to, that's fraud or at least could be construed as fraud. So don't sign something that you don't believe in. I think or- that's what the disclaimer's for, though, isn't it? Yeah. To make sure that they, to say, look, I I didn't see this, but there was a disclaimer saying that I didn't see well, this, but it, I think that James is a bad person. It, it it needs to be more fleshed out than than just an introduction with like some of these people. Like It needs to be on the signatories. You need to see who didn't see it, who is just following along and, and signing for the fun, or because they feel like, okay, and who actually witnessed the things. That, that needs to be very implicit.